that's one of my favorite music of all time. I mean, Shimshai, yeah, his music is prophetic and um, very inspiring, uplifting. Shalom, Aleph, Aleph. fell in love with his lyrics and his um, message in his songs and immediately I learned all of his music on the spot um, without even knowing him but I knew that I really needed to meet him because his music was just a powerful catalyst in my life for I was going through major change and just knowing that this being exists and that this true magic of music um, is being held um, gave me faith and courage in my musical path as well. Flowing to the heavenly sea, where standeth the holy tree of life, with the whole I want of creation, and its eternal love and life, into eternity. His words, and yeah, it sends you into this total spiritual realm, and yet at the same time, it can also just rock everybody out. I mean, all around, um, he became my favorite musician, and, uh, gee, what could be better than managing your favorite musician, Thanks a lot, everybody. How are we doing out there? All right, it's good to be here. Well, Shimshai is a really deep brother who, uh, he's such a talent. Yeah, he's written some really amazing songs that have become like anthems for our tribe, for our band. It really brings the people together in a really powerful way. I first met Shimshai, it was probably, I want to say, 20 years ago, perhaps and I saw his band playing. I watched him playing and he was playing melodica and these kind of instruments that, that um, I'm known for playing as well. And we were sitting there listening to them out from the field and I'm there with my band and we're all listening carefully and uh, my manager says to me, it sounds like your music, Joe Levi. And I, I kind of felt that way too, so I asked someone to go and, and get Shimshai and he came and he came to our van and we sat there with all of my band and there were a lot of Rastafarian elders with us. You know, we connected there and spoke there and ever since then we've been performing together. I play with him at times, he plays with me at times. We've recorded together. Uh, yeah, we've been to many gatherings together and uh, we've done a lot of healing work together. Uh, that his parents were part of the, the Love Israel family. And I used to go and uh, perform at their garlic festival. So it turns out that they were very into my music for a long time, and he kind of grew up listening to that music. So I learned later that that really influenced his music a lot as well. And uh, through time, we toured together a lot, did a lot of shows together. I did some fe promoted some festivals and featured him as an honored guest. And we've performed together on each other's sets many times, and we've also done a lot of healing work together with uh, 
plant medicines and ceremony and uh, yeah, we just have a really strong and powerful connection in that way, recognizing each other as this us seeing brother brothers, you know. <laughs> to show a lot of love and respect for each other. He's becoming very busy with his career and becoming very popular. And so the times that we get to actually spend together is a little more rare. But each time it's a joy and we get to do some really special things together. And I'm looking forward to a lot more of that too. Yeah, I mean, I've listened for many, many years to Shimshai, and every time I hear it, I still get the, the chills, you know, it starts to, it really makes you think about a lot of things, too. You know, I'm very uh, influenced by the Essene movement, and Shimshai seemed to really carry that Essene essence with him as well. In that day, I make a covenant. I had a beautiful ceremony with, uh, I don't know, maybe about 15 people um, at uh, Luna Dove's property in a teepee with uh, Ja Levi. And um, I happened to be sitting right next to him. And after hearing him play all night, I was like, who are you? And he said, I'm Shimshai. And I'm like, where do I get a CD? He said, I don't have any CDs. And I said, well, you will, <laughs> and that proved to be more than prophetic. He, he's come a long way in the music world with uh, CDs and performances. Oh, physically meeting him it was a few years ago when I started to work with Ja Levi and sing with him and um, then basically um, Shimshai would play bass or melodica so we would share the stage and um, it was such a blessing to be able to share in that energy and then um, I was able to share the stage with him at Ja Levi's and um, sing harmonies for him and it was a very fulfilling experience because I had been learning all his music for years just by putting it on repeat because it was blasting my heart open basically. Probably one of the most inspiring things that had happened to me in a long time. The combination of his voice, his phrasing, his musical ability, uh, he plays, can play just about any instrument, and although he mostly plays guitar, he can play anything, he plays sitar, and, uh, woodwinds, drums, everything. And, uh, yeah, the excellence of the musicianship. <laughs> Captain.